Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. First of all, I hope you're well, and I pray that the Lord's covering you with the blood of the Lamb. And I hope everything's going well in your life. Okay, you know that video that I put up regarding uh, destroying eyes that I've done in 20 minutes? Now, the reason why I was focusing on eyes then, because any faith that defies God is false, okay? But the reason why I was focusing on Islam is because, first of all, Islam is one of the most corrupt religions out there. And I'm not going to sit here and say all faiths that God, uh, that oppose God is not corrupt, because they are corrupt. Anything that's disobedient to God is a sin, is idolatrous, like these false faiths out here. So, um, but let's, you know, the uh, Islam is becoming the majority. It's a fast-growing religion because people are easily deceived, okay? And, um... Now, many have the truth in their mouth, the truth in their mouth. You know, those who have the Father living in them, dwelling in them, have the truth. Those that have the truth have the Father living, meaning Father God, Jesus Christ, dwelling in them. A couple of points I'm going to make. Okay, so I got some emails from Muslims, no less. And um, they made a couple of points that were completely stupid, with no proof to back it up. The first one was that... We worship the same God. Christians, Muslims worship the same God. I am here to tell you we do not worship the same God. You know how they come about this explanation? It's because in Arabic, the word God mean the word God is pronounced as Allah. That's how they came about that we worship the same God because uh, Allah means God in English. So it's like say it's like the Hindus saying uh, to the Christians, well, we worship the same God because this, this so-and-so word means, in Hindu, means God in English. Or it's like saying to Spanish people, well, we worship the same God because Dios means God in English. That's pointless. Because every different language has their own way of saying the word God. It doesn't mean that we worship the same God because we don't. Muslims worship the devil. The Quran refers to Allah as the greatest of deceivers, while the Bible calls him the father of lies, a.k.a. Satan. How can you tell the Quran of Allah is the father of lies? Well, if you open up a Quran for yourself, you'll see all the contradictions and the lies in there. I will give you an example. An example is the, the Quran, and I pointed it out in my other video, if you want to take a look at it. Make a long story short, the Quran says to use... The Torah, which is the five books of Moses, the law, of Mo the five books of Moses that consists of various laws. I'll name a few for you: Deuteronomy, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and there's one more book out there that I, I, I hope to remember: the Book of Joshua, I believe. But there's five books, and those Torah is part of the Bible. Let me, let me remind you of that again: the Torah is part of the Bible. Okay. So they say to use the, the book of the, or the, use the book of the people, or the people of the book, use their book to judge the Quran, which is the Torah and the Gospel. The Gospel is in the Bible too. The Gospel is centered that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of mankind, that Jesus Christ said he is the great I am, he is God, and that he manifested as Jesus Christ in the flesh. Okay, that's the center of the Gospel. Now, the Quran says that uh, you have one man named Muhammad, a pedophile and a pervert and a rapist, a drunk, a suicidal, false prophet, saying Jesus Christ never died on the cross and that Judas Iscariot was on the cross and that Allah used, uh, tricked people into thinking it was, G it was Jesus Christ. That's the stupidest theory I've ever heard. Okay? Uh, then you, if you go back to, so that's what the Quran says. The Quran totally denies the gospel. So the uh, Quran says to use the gospel in the Torah to determine if the Quran is true. So if you go back to the, you know, if you go back to the Bible to verify if what the Quran says is true about the gospel never taking place, that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God, that he's just merely a messenger like uh, the Quran says, you go back to the Bible. Um, the Bible totally denies what the Quran says. It says Jesus Christ died on the cross from the sins of mankind. It shows that Jesus Christ claimed he is the Son of God and that he is God. I'm going to use another context. The Quran also says that um, 
Jesus Christ was merely a messenger. You go back to the Bible, the Bible says Jesus Christ was not only the a prophet, he was the prophet again. He is God. Uh, the Quran says uh, Mary's father was e Ibram, which is actually Moses' father. If you go to the Bible, Moses' father is named Ibram. The Quran says that uh, Abraham is not a Jewish man, and he was never Christian. But if you go to the Bible, the Bible says Abraham was Jewish, and he was a Christian man. You know, he followed the, he followed God, who was Jesus Christ. If you go to the the Quran, the Quran says that Noah's son drowned in the flood. If you go to the book of Genesis in the Bible, the Bible says no, all of Noah's family survived. So you see where I'm going with this pattern, ladies and gentlemen. The Quran is full of lies. A pack of lies. And it's just, that's, I'm only barely touching the surface. I'm using, I'm doing exactly what the Quran says. I am using the Quran. I'm using the Bible to judge the Quran. The Quran says to use the Torah and the book of the people, which is the Jews, Jewish people and Christians. In other words, use the Bible, use the Torah, the gospel, which are already in the Bible, to judge the Quran. The Quran says the above that I just told you, denying the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, denying the, the, the gospel, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He is God, denying um, that Noah's, uh, all of Noah's family survived, saying that only his son drowned. Um, and also, I pointed out some other things that it said about, uh, I forgot what I just said, I know I mentioned it to you earlier in the video, but the Quran also states about, um, oh, Abraham being Jewish, or not being Jewish and not Christian, but the Bible says that he is. The Quran is saying that um, Jesus Christ is a Muslim, the Bible is saying he's not. The Quran is saying that uh, Moses' father, I think his name is Ibram, I hope I'm not getting the name wrong, what they do is they take, they say no, Moses' father, if you look in the book of Genesis, that very same individual, in the Quran they say that he's Mary's father. According to the Quran, or the Bible, um, Ibram is Moses' father. Okay, there's no way he could be Mary's father because Mary was born years later. So, if you use the, Quran, the Bible to judge the Quran, the Bible straight up says the Quran is full of lies and corrupt. Now, the Bible is truth because the Bible's prophecies, but biblical prophecies are happening now, especially Christian persecution. The Quran is full of lies. The devil is the father of lies, so that proves that Muhammad not only not only is the devil the author of the Quran and used Muhammad to write it, that Muhammad wrote the Quran and changed it as he sees fit to favor his desires to satisfy his lusts and his flesh. So, um, I did have a. Uh, um, another Muslim sent me an email saying, well, um, you shouldn't believe what you read about the Quran saying to use the Torah and the God, the people of the books to judge the gospel. So I said to him, so you're saying, don't believe, don't, I said, you're saying, do not believe your Quran, because your Quran says to do exactly that, to use the Torah and the gospel to judge if the Quran is true. And ladies and gentlemen, I did that. And according to the Bible, the Quran is not true. It is corrupt. It's full of lies. It is written by a man who, and the author of that Quran is the devil, devil known as Allah, their God. I know Allah means God in Arabic, so the Allah of the, of, of the Muslims is Satan. The Christian God is Jesus Christ. They are not the same God because Muslims deny Jesus Christ as being God. In fact, they exalt a sinner, Muhammad, over Jesus Christ who never sinned. Now, Ask me this, ladies and gentlemen. Would you believe... See, Jesus Christ claims he's God, and he is. Okay? Jesus Christ never lied, never committed a sin, was never a pedophile, a rapist, a false prophet, a murderer, never did any of those things. Jesus Christ performed miracles. Where in the Bible did Muhammad perform miracles? He's not even mentioned in the Bible. The only way place he's mentioned is that he's a false prophet and a lover of the flesh. Jesus Christ calls them vipers, demons, devils, false prophets, and he's against them. In the Quran, the Quran even says that Jesus Christ uh, performed miracles. In fact, Allah said that he was going to exalt 
uh, he was going to exalt Christians, the followers of Christ. He was going to exalt Jesus Christ and his followers. Well, Jesus Christ's followers, according to the Bible, are Christians, true disciples, the disciples of the Lord. And then you have other parts of the Quran saying, kill the Jews and Christians. You see how contradictory the Quran is? So, if you're asking me, okay, if I'm going to believe, you know, Jesus Christ tells me he's God, told me the gospel, I read the gospel, and then you have a man that popped out of nowhere named Muhammad, who says Jesus Christ is not God, and he has no proof to back it up. This is an individual that has no prophecies that he ever predicted. His prophecies are false. He has no proof. He is a liar and a sinner. And the Bible also teaches for a Muslim to lie if they feel compelled to, especially to entrap an enemy or to entrap their own wife. And the Bible also says, um, I'm sorry, um, let me correct something. The Quran teaches a Muslim to lie when they're compelled to or to also uh, you lie to entrap an enemy or lie even to their own wife, their own spouse. The Quran also teaches that a man can hit his wife lightly, and it's in the Quran. I found it last night. They can teach, they can hit their wife lightly if they're disobedient. The Bible forbids lying. The Bible forbids a man from hitting his wife. Okay, so um, there's another contradictory teaching. The Bible teaches truth. The Quran teaches lies. Okay. Also, so I'm going to summarize this by saying this. If Jesus Christ and Muhammad were standing before me, and Jesus Christ came to me and said, Esmeralda, I am God, I am Jesus Christ, I am the Son of Man, I am Jesus Christ, I am the Great I Am. Then you have another man named Muhammad come to me and say, Jesus Christ is not God, he, he didn't die on the cross, he was just a messenger, and... Uh, uh, that Judas Iscariot died on the cross and Allah just made people think it was Jesus Christ just to deceive them. So you have Jesus Christ who never sinned, who never lied, who was always humble, who told nothing but truth, and his prophecies, every one of them, came to pass and are still coming to pass. Okay? And you have Jesus Christ with 500 brethren after the resurrection. You have many people that witnessed the, the uh, death the, res the, the crucifixion, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we all know Jesus Christ is God. Okay? Um, you also have more proof that even the demons were terrified in the presence of Jesus Christ because they call them the Son of God. Even they're terrified. And the Bible says that the demons are terrified of God. So that's proof, again, Jesus Christ is God. You also have Pharisees wanting to uh, cruci uh, crucify Jesus Christ because they say he spoke blasphemy because they, he called himself the Son of Man. Even the Pharisees witnessed in the Bible, Jesus Christ calling himself the Son of Man. And also, um, another thing I wanted to point out is that um, the Pharisees saw the miracles Jesus Christ performed and they didn't want to believe in it. Okay? They were true miracles, beautiful miracles. They called it miracles of Be Beelzebub, but it wasn't. It was miracles straight from God, Jesus Christ. The Pharisees were straight up jealous demons. So you have that. In the Bible, nowhere does it say that Muhammad performed miracles. Even the Quran says that Jesus Christ performed miracles. Jesus Christ never lied. The Quran acknowledges that. The Quran acknowledges that Jesus Christ always told the truth and that he never sinned. And you flip the coin. If you evaluate Muhammad's history, he is a liar. He is a pedophile. He is a false prophet. He had a child wife. I have videos exposing that. He is a drunk. He is a murderer. He's suicidal. He's bipolar. He acknowledges in the Hadith that he was possessed by demons and that the devil sent him revelations. And that, and even in the Quran, and then he also um, wears his wife's dress, which makes him a cross-dresser, when he gets revelations. So who do you think I'm going to believe? A man that's full of lies and is a false prophet and a pedophile? And also rapes dead people? Muhammad? Or Jesus Christ, who is humble, never lied, never sinned, has prophecies that came to pass, and still comes to pass, and he claims he's the Son of God, and people seeing him... Many witnesses, death, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and five, after his resurrection, the 12 disciples witnessed it, 500 brethren, multiple people saw Jesus rise, but there's not many people that, no, nobody saw uh, Muhammad's uh, so-called rise to fame, or I'm sorry, so-called prophecies, there's no witnesses of that. In the Hadith, there's a compilation of testimonies of different people claiming that they had encounters with Muhammad, but 
they're contradictory. There's holes. And a lot of those testimonies also support that he was a pedophile and a rapist. Okay? And a false prophet. I am going to believe Jesus Christ over that liar, filthy Muhammad, any day of the week. Okay? Jesus Christ is Lord, end of story. Okay? Um, the Quran says that if you annoy Muhammad, uh, you can go to hell. What kind of, that sounds so stupid, favoring one man over everybody else. And then, and then Muhammad would say, I know Allah better than everybody. So he was a prideful spirit. God was humble, is humble. Jesus Christ is God. So that's my response to that individual. So you see, my problem is with this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take too long. But my situation is this. Why when, Muhammad, why when Muslims are confronted with the truth? They start making stupid comments or excuses to try to explain why the Quran is corrupt the way that it is. Like the, that Muslim that said, don't believe what you read. When I told him that the Quran says to use uh, the Bible and the Torah and the book of the people, which is the Bible and the gospel, you know, the Bible, the Torah and the gospel, that's what that means of the Jewish and Christians, to use those books to judge the Quran. So I told him, then you're telling me not to believe what the Quran reads because it says in your very same Quran to use the Torah and the Gospel, which is in the Bible, to judge the Quran. And if I do that, the Bible says the Quran is false. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That Muslim never responded back to me. So I gave him proof in the email. I gave him scriptures from both the Quran and the Torah and the Gospel and the Bible, which is part of the Bible. And he never responds to me. So when you present truth to Muslims, they try to make an excuse out of it. They, they refuse the correction. They try to uh, argue about it. And, they, and then they pick bits and pieces to try to support their doc, support the crazy doctrine out of the Quran. Or they pick bits and pieces out of the Bible to say that uh, Muhammad was prophesied, prophesied. They say to you guys that Muhammad was the comforter, the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ was talking about. That is a lie. God is not going to send a sinner who is a pervert as your comforter. Because God can't be in, in God who is Jesus Christ cannot be in the presence of sin. So why would he use a sinner to claim that that sinner is your comforter? That doesn't make any sense. Again, I prove that the Quran and Islam are utterly false. So next time you Muslims come at me, you better have a response and you better have proof to back it up. And I'm not talking about your Quranic verses. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.